HelloCatStar.org. Welcome to Chapter 3. We've just completed preparation and how we get ready for our optical impression. Chapter 3 is about taking that optical impression. If you join these two chapters together, preparation and design and planning prior to that, and then optical impression, this is where the meat happens, so to speak. This is where it happens. Now, with the AC unit, optical impressions have been significantly simplified. First of all, we don't need the volume of reflective surface that we used to have. In other words, we don't need as much intensity. This AC unit with the blue cam is much more precise. Shorter wavelengths, doesn't need as much reflective medium on the images that we're capturing. So uh, it's really simplified things particularly with the automatic trigger. Uh, we have the automatic trigger that captures our pictures when the camera is stabilized, so the computer will read that for us. And that really simplifies things. I don't use the titanium oxide application much anymore because we don't need that type of volume. I like smaller particles and thinner layers. I have found that the contrast spray and the opti spray work better we will review in the following webcast on how to use all three different systems and that's the contrast spray, the opti spray, and the traditional titanium oxide applications. But stay simple with it. We want to keep it simple. So we've prepared a great clinical theater, have tissue management down, learning how to retract and manage our tissues in the mouth so our teeth are not getting contaminated with saliva while we're taking the optical impression this is really easy it really is but we got to get it right and we'll go through the principles within application of your AC unit and your blue cam and how to take those optical impressions so we don't get optical distortions in our dyes because we won't know that until it seats I've spent some time in a number of offices helping them work their orientation down with their CEREC the number one issue that I've seen in hiccups with this is acquisition and that is using the camera properly. If we understand the, how the optics work and we abide by those then we get great virtual dyes which eventually leads into great fitting restorations so we're not having to adjust them to get them to see. So enjoy chapter three.